four teams look to secure their spot at state in today's WDA team tournament. But the two teams meeting for the conference team championship are already headed to Grand Forks. Minot, the one seed, taking on the two seed Legacy in the tournament championship. Legacy's Abby Meyer taking on Minot's Eden Olsen in one singles. The duo with a good rally before Olsen takes the point with the forehand winner. Down the right side on her way to a 6-1, 6-0 win. Now to the final match in the first place battle with the ones doubles. Legacy is Chelsea Crum able to return the long ball, but Sienna Ronning scores the point for the Majets. This one goes three games as Aliyah McPherson here with a nice forehand winner to the back corner. Sabres able to win this match for the Magi to secure the WDA, WDA tournament team title with a 4-1 win. We've been excited about this crew We're dating back to the last couple of years. We, we knew we had a had a nice mix of some some veterans and, and Eden Olson, Sophia Aggie, who have been around for a long time, and, and a great mix of, of young and up-and-coming talent who, who are going to be really good for our program. feels great. I knew we, we had a good shot going into the tournament. We just knew we had to take one team at a time and just play tennis the way we know how. Now even more state title bids on the line at Hammond Park. The winner of Bismarck and St. Mary's moves on to State Sydney Hall, able to make the running play here with a flick of the wrist to the corner in one singles. Meanwhile, Dickinson and Century meeting in the consolation bracket. Nice backhand return here from Shayna Klitsky for the point in the neck in the three singles matchup. St. Mary's heading to state for the first time since 2014 with a 3-2 win over Bismarck, while Century is headed to Grand Forks beating Dickinson 3-2.